All right, guys, in today's video, I'm super excited because I got my hands on the Sisley Phyto Hydratant Beautifying Tinted Moisturizer. So this is Sisley's newest release. If you watched my foundation, um, I ranked my best and worst foundations, basically. So it was basically the best of and worst of foundations. My Sisley foundations all come in the top five. I love the tinted sunscreen. I love the um, a clot foundation. It's very gorgeous. So I was so excited to hear that Sisley was releasing a tinted moisturizer. This is different than their tinted sunscreen because this actually does not have an SPF in it. This is made in France. It is 1.3 fluid ounces, so a little more than your standard foundation. In Canada, this cost me $150. I believe if I get the conversion right, you can let me know down below, but I think it is $120 in the US. So this was available on Holt Renfrew. Um, I purchased it, shipping was very fast. The downside to this, and it is a very big downside, this only comes in three shades. I know it's supposed to kind of be um, a tinted moisturizer that just acts as a veil, and they say you can kind of get away with any shade, but I just don't agree with that and think they should release more shades, honestly. Um, I just think that's a little ridiculous in this day and age to only release three shades. But let's get into what this foundation is. So this tinted skincare has the effectiveness of daily skincare with a veil of color. The healthy skin cocktail evens, corrects, and illuminates in a single stroke. The fresh glide on and very light texture melts into the skin for a natural perfecting result and a bare skin effect. So in the ingredients, Sisley lists the white lily extract as something that will help moisturize the skin. And then we have the plant-based extracts, which act as an energizer, an astringent, and it has smoothing properties to help refine the look of skin texture for a smoother appearance. So this is one of these products that they tell you to use every day and you will notice the skin beautifying effects. I don't usually wear the same foundation every day, so I don't know if I will notice that. Again, this is a first impression. This is the first time I am wearing this. And then this also contains a buck, buckwheat seed extract, which um, protects the skin, apparently. I do want to mention the fragrance. So it is a very light fragrance. It's definitely not as strong as Sisley's other foundation products. Like the Eclat definitely has a stronger fragrance. And even the sunscreen has a little bit of a kind of off-putting fragrance. This definitely does not contain that same fragrance. This is a squeezy tube packaging, so that's not my favorite, but it is plastic, so ooh. So it will be um, perfect for travel and stuff like that. So I have gone ahead and applied this on my skin. This has only been on for about 10 minutes, but spoiler alert, it looks really beautiful. So I think with that being said, we should just get into the application. I forget if I mentioned what shade I got. I got the shade two golden, no, two medium. Anyways, I feel like I bumbled along this introduction a little too long. So why don't we get straight into the application? But again, before we do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not yet done so. Leave your comments down below, like the video if you like it, share if you wanna share it. And let me know if you are planning to pick this one up or what your favorite kind of tinted moisturizers are because I love a tinted moisturizer. I love light coverage. But anyways, let's stop talking and get straight into the application. Let's get right into things. So I just wanted to start off and say that on my skin right now, I just have my skincare on. So I have my moisturizer, my toner, all that stuff, and a sunscreen. Uh, this actually, I thought this would be a tinted sunscreen kind of product, but I guess they did want to differentiate from the other tinted sunscreen. So this is just, I guess, a tinted moisturizer. I picked up mine in the shade 2 Medium. I was very unsure about this. Like I said, there's no swatches online, so I'm really hoping this will work out. Here is the bottle, and let's just go ahead. So I'm going to start by shaking it up. Oh, I want to mention I didn't use any primers today, but I did conceal under my eyes with the Sisley um, Stylo Lumiere, just because I like to apply concealer before foundation. So I'm going to take a little palette, and I'm just going to, I don't know how much to use. I'm going to start with this amount. I hope this color is going to work out. I think it actually might work out pretty decently. So when I feel it on my fingertips, it's very smooth, very, it's not as thick as the tinted sunscreen if you tried that. It's definitely more fluid, but it has a very lovely texture. Like it feels very nice on the skin. I feel like this might apply nice with fingertips too. But I'm just gonna try with a beauty blender because that's how I normally would apply product. So I'm gonna start out Ooh, it has a nice fragrance. It's not as, if you are aware of their other foundation, the Phyto 
Tante Claude, I think that's what it's called. Definitely not as heavily fragranced as that one is. So with that amount of product, I definitely get super light coverage. I can still see freckles, I can still see pigmentation, but it does look very beautiful on the skin. It's definitely not overly radiant though for a tinted moisturizer. So that's nice. Let me go in with a little bit more to see how it builds up. And I think this time, I think I am gonna go in with my fingertips just to see how it applies. Ooh, it feels so nice and silky. Okay, definitely get more coverage when you go in with fingertips. I'm noticing that right away. So if you want more coverage, I definitely would suggest going in this way. Again, I don't really like using my fingers because then I have to go over with a sponge. It just is not very even. Like you don't get an even distribution. So again, I'm going to take a little bit more product and I'm just gonna go over everything to smooth it all into my skin. So with that second layer, it's probably the equivalent to two pumps of foundation, I would say. We're still getting really nice, light, I wouldn't call this medium coverage, definitely on the lighter side, like I still can see, again, freckles, pigmentation, but I don't think I would build it past here. If you do not like light coverage, then I would say probably skip out on this one, but it does look super beautiful on the skin. All right, so I've applied two layers of that. I first went in with a sponge and then wanted to see if I could build up coverage with fingers. You definitely can. I will say this is definitely a light, it's like a highlight coverage, so it's not quite medium coverage with the two layers, but it definitely was able to build up just a little bit more. And I have to say the one thing I'm loving about this foundation, it is very, very perfecting. It smoothed over texture and my pores right here, absolutely perfect. It hasn't accentuated any dry patches. I'm not getting any weirdness in the center of my forehead. Um, no weirdness anywhere, actually. And it's not overly dewy for um, this light coverage. Usually you associate a tinted moisturizer or something with lighter coverage with a more dewy finish. I actually think this is more, it's very skin-like, um, more of a natural finish, but it does have a little bit of, like it's not a velvet texture. It's definitely more, yeah, skin-like. Like you can see a little bit of glow on my cheekbones, which I really enjoy. I do feel like this is one I'd probably have to set down just because it is a bit more on the hydrating side, like I said, not overly hydrating, but I'm just loving how it looks on the skin. I think this would be perfect for like a no makeup makeup day for everyday wear. This is the kind of coverage and finish that I like in my everyday products. And just right now I am thinking it looks absolutely amazing. I blended over top of the concealer very beautifully as well. So what I'm gonna do is finish off my under eyes and then let's just do the complexion products um, back when I come back with my under eyes and then I will let you know how it is sitting after about 10 minutes once it once all my other products are on my face. I just went up and finished my lower lash line and figured I would just do my bronzer products like my face products with you on camera. So to start let's just stick with the Sisley theme. I'm going to go in with my Sisley Fido Touche bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up the skin using my Esam. Oh my God, there's no number on this. I think it's like 51 or 50, something like that. I really like this bronzer. It's definitely on the warmer side and it's just that beautiful gel texture that really is skin-like. So I thought that would work well um, with this product again, because this is definitely more of a skin, a very skin-like product. I think the color is just a touch light for me. So I can kind of go I don't want to go heavy handed on my bronzer, obviously, but I can be a little warmer today than normal. And sometimes with my bronzer, again, I like to pack it on because I don't buff. It takes away product underneath. And then I like to go a little bit across the nose to kind of get that sunburnt effect. So you will notice I did not powder. I actually feel like it dried down really nicely as I was applying my um, under eye products, like my eyeshadow. So I decided not to powder. I am going to powder over top of everything, but I'm not going to, well, I am gonna buff with my powder. I just decided that would be the best um, for me right now. And I will say that these powder products, well, I'm only going in with one right now, but this bronzer is blending on top really nicely. It's not patchy at all, so that is a good sign for sure, knowing that you do not have to 
how do this product for your other products to go on nicely. For blush today, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Cheek to Chic Blush in the Intense Shade. So I decided to pick this one up just because I really like Charlotte Tilbury blushes and I really enjoy the regular Pillow Talk one. So I'm definitely going to take that excess product off because it is definitely a deeper blush than what I normally go for. And again, I'm just going to press this on. It's so beautiful. Wow. Ooh, I love that color. And it's actually not too intense. It gives you kind of that rosy bronze look with just a subtle sheen, but it's very beautiful. I really like this. It kind of reminds me of the Guerlain Golden Land Collection, that meteorite powder that they came out with. The color, um, like the tone of it is very similar. It kind of gives you that it's cold outside look. Like, um, yeah, you've just been out in the cold and your cheeks kind of turn that nice red shade. So I really love that. And then for highlight today, I'm going to go in with the Chantecai Brilliant Eclat Face Powder. So this is just this beautiful champagne gold shade. I have no idea if it's in stock in the US still, but I just love this highlight. So I'm going to sweep that on the cheekbones and then with that excess, I kind of just go over the top of the brow bone. And I am going to buff a little bit, but I'm also going to use this as my setting powder. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder and I'm just going to go over everything just to again help everything blend together and so it looks nice and smooth and this will act as well me powdering my face <laughs> off camera i'm going to quickly line my lips i'm just going to use my charlotte tilbury pillow top lip liner with my becca sugar lipstick and then my patrick ta she's an influencer lip gloss and i'll be back and we'll go over how the foundation is looking so far so the rest of my makeup is on and I just want to talk about how this foundation is looking so far. So the time right now is 9.43 in the morning. I wanted to get this done early because I have plans later, but I'm going to do a 10 hour wear test just so you guys know. But on the skin, it is looking so beautiful right now. It is very skin-like. It also has a very natural finish. It's not overly dewy. It doesn't look too hydrating. It doesn't look too matte at all. It's definitely not matte. In comparison to the Sisley, um, the Ultra Clot, it definitely is not as matte as that one is. This also, I would say the coverage is a little lighter than that one. It's definitely more on the light side. I wouldn't build this past medium or go in with more than two layers because I just think it will be too much for this product. But I think it looks absolutely stunning. It's not picking up on any of my dry patches. It really just laid over the texture of my skin beautifully, even when I went in with fingers. Sometimes I find fingers can be a little finicky because it can pick up on any dry patches or it can accentuate texture because you are rubbing your skin, but it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I actually don't even feel like I need a pore blurring primer in my T-zone. This is something I could just put on for the day and I don't need any primers underneath because it just glides on like a dream and just sits on my skin very perfectly. It's not settling in any areas of my forehead or in any lines on my face either. It honestly looks amazing right now. Again, I've only been wearing it for about 10 minutes, so that's not saying too much yet, but I love how this is looking, very impressed thus far, and I will just come back in a few hours with my first check-in. All right, I am checking in. This is my five hour check-in. So it is now 2.45. So I have been wearing this for around five hours, pretty much just past the five hour mark. So let us look at how my skin is doing. I, I kind of have been looking at this throughout the day. I actually had to go run some errands and go out for lunch. So I was looking at the car mirror and I think it looks really beautiful. It's definitely very skin-like. I don't feel like it looks heavy on the skin at all. And you know that the car mirror is like the truth mirror. It tells you everything. So I'm very impressed with how it looked out in natural daylight. And I do want to say, I think it has oxidized just the tiniest bit. I feel like it's looking a tiny bit darker on my skin. Um, also, I am definitely getting a little shinier through the center of my face. I didn't use anything mattifying today. I typically have dry skin and don't need to use anything mattifying ever really. But I definitely do notice that I am looking a little more hydrated in the center of my face for sure. Um, but it's not bad. I don't think I look greasy in any way. I mean, you could touch up at this point if you like to do that. I actually like how it looks right now because it definitely looks a bit more dewy on my skin. Again, it's not overly dewy. It doesn't look greasy at all. I don't think it hasn't accentuated any texture on my skin. It hasn't like, it's not wearing 
on my skin dry throughout the day. It definitely feels very lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all, which I really enjoy. It also hasn't separated anywhere. My forehead still looks really nice. My nose looks nice. Sometimes I notice that my foundation will wear away around the center of my nose, not the center of my nose, the sides of my nose and around my mouth, just where I obviously I eat and sometimes foundation fades around there, but I don't think it has. And again, it hasn't separated anywhere on my chin or anything. Everything's fading. I actually don't think it's faded away at all, but it hasn't, yeah, no coverage has faded away, I don't think. I do want to say, if this is really interesting, so when I applied this, I felt like it was kind of a light, slightly leaning medium, but as it wore on my skin, probably when it hit the one hour mark, I felt like the coverage looked more like a medium. Like right now, I feel like the coverage looks more medium, which is interesting that when I first put it on, um, it looked more on the light side. So I don't know if it just sunk into my skin a little more, and that's why the coverage doesn't look heavy by any means. Like you can still see freckles and a little bit of pigment, but I am very happy so far. So we still have five hours to go until we reach the 10 hour mark. So I will come back with another check-in in a few hours and then we will gather my final thoughts too. All right guys, we have reached the final check-in. We are at 10 hours. It is now 8 p.m. So I just passed the 10 hour mark. And let's just go over how this foundation is looking. So I think you guys can tell I'm definitely looking more glowy, more glossy, more, I don't know. I definitely have more dewiness to my skin, especially through the center of my face. I definitely am looking very hydrated. I still don't think this looks overly dewy, but it's something that I would want to touch up with if I was going out. So I think with this foundation or tinted, beautifying tinted moisturizer, whatever they call it, so I think with a product like this, I would have preferred to go in with just that one layer. So I think the, I'm gonna try this out in a few different ways, obviously, but I think the best approach for this is applying it with your fingers, probably equivalent to about a pump, maybe a pump and a half. Applying it with your fingers and then blending that in with a sponge. I feel like if you try to build this up to medium coverage, it just, just at the end of the day, not that it looks heavy at all because I still don't think it looks heavy, but with a product like this, because it is classified as a tinted moisturizer, you don't want to build it up too much. I don't think I did build it up too much. I think it's like perfect right now, but I would probably go in with just a, a little less product next time. But nothing has broken apart. Like my, around my nose still looks really good. It's just hydrated, like I said. So around my chin, nothing has separated or broken apart. Um, my pores still look really nice, I think. Nothing has gathered in my forehead. Like, it's not separating or gathering anywhere, which I'm very impressed with. It also hasn't sunken into any lines or any pores. So usually I get foundation that sinks into these lines around, well, my smile lines. And I usually get a lot of fading around my mouth. But because this is such a light coverage, you don't notice the fading of a of this foundation as much as you would say a medium to full coverage. I feel like with a medium to full coverage, you really notice that separation and fading because it is more coverage and you it looks like a lot more product on the skin. But because this is kind of a second skin, you're not going to notice it as much. The, the thing that you notice more with these products is it getting more dewy throughout the day. So I am very happy with it and I think this is going to become a regular rotation. I think this probably might break through to my top five. Again, this is the first time I've worn it, so I'm going to have to continue and see. But I'm just really um, impressed by the way it wore and how it hasn't separated. It hasn't, like, it doesn't look too heavy at all. It just looks very nice. So, again, you know my thoughts on this product. I don't want to blabber on too much, but I think what I'm going to do, because I do have to go out, like I said, I started this a little later than what I originally planned because I knew that I had to be somewhere tonight. So I am going to show you how I would touch this product up. This is a nice product to touch up because again, we're starting out with a really light coverage. So you can go in with a bit more product at the end of the day and it won't look too heavy versus if you start out with a full coverage foundation, it's harder to touch up because you already are starting out with a heavier base. I hope that makes sense. But Again, I'm just going to show you quickly how I would touch this up or how I'm going to touch this up because, again, I am going out. But first, I'm going to go in with my Tatcha. These are the, God, I'm never going to say that. Basically, those are Japanese beauty papers. And I really like these ones because a lot of 
um, touch-up papers that you buy from like Sephora or the drugstore, they actually contain powder in them, but these ones do not. So basically I'm just going to get all that oil off my skin. And with this type of product, you actually could probably go in with a little more of this tinted sunscreen if you're uncomfortable with adding more powder, say you're like super dry. I feel like I don't need any more coverage anywhere, it's just that I look a little shiny. So what I'm going to do is take my Wayne Goss, this is the O2 brush, and for touch-ups I really enjoy the Sisley Paris, this is the Blur Expert powder. Because this isn't a heavy powder, it's not very powdery, it's very light on the skin. And I'm going to press it in the areas where I feel that I am just a little bit too oily. And that's kind of in the center of my face. I'm not going to put any powder on the outskirts of my face just because that is where I like a little more glow to be anyways. And from here what I like to do is add just a little bit more highlighter. So what I'm going to do is take my Linda Hallberg brush and I'm just going to sweep that into this highlight just a few times. And I'm just going to run over the cheekbones and then run over the cupid's bow and that and then kind of just hit the brow bone but that is all I'm going to do and then I like to take my Wayne Goss this is all in my touch-up bag so this is what I do this is the Wayne Goss 11 brush and I like to use a bronzer that is very skin like so a gel texture I like the Chantecaille one for touch-ups and I just run across it I probably dab in it just a few times and then I just run over this is if I was doing a touch up really quick, obviously. I just run over the areas where I want to touch up my bronzer. I typically don't touch up with any blush, especially the blush I used today. It was more on the intense side, so I think it still looks really nice. And I actually love the way my eyeshadow looks too. I think my eyeshadow lasted all day. Okay, I zoomed you guys in, so I hope you guys can see my skin. So it definitely does look worn in because I have been wearing this for such a long time. But I still think it looks really nice. It doesn't look too heavy. It doesn't look textured at all. Um, again, I've been wearing this for 10 hours and I still have to go out. So I am going to continue to wear this. All right, so I am back. I just I touched up with um, some of my lip products. It's the exact same lip products that I used early on in the day. I am very, very, very impressed with this. And I think even after touching up, it doesn't look heavy at all. Again, this is why I like a really light coverage because it's so easy to transition to the nighttime. I don't have to redo my face. I think that this looks way better than when I checked in and it still looks um, very skin-like. I mean, I put on a little more highlighter, so I definitely look a little more blingy with my highlight, but I still think it looks really good. So my first impression, my review of this foundation is that I think this is going to become kind of one of my top foundations. I think especially for the summer when I want something really light on the skin, I want something that's super easy breezy. I love foundations like this because you don't have to be super finicky with them. You can just apply them. You don't need to be finicky with the primers that you're using underneath. It's not a high maintenance product. I'm not going to have to look in the mirror throughout the day. I'm not going to have to touch up a lot except after 10 hours, which I think is pretty reasonable for a foundation. This doesn't claim that it's long wearing at all, but I do think it is, and I think this is going to become a top contender in my foundation routine. So again, I will keep you guys updated. I just feel like I'm repeating myself at this point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation review. Let me know what you thought of this foundation. Do you think it looked nice on the skin? Are you thinking of picking this up? Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Leave your comments, show the video, like the video, and I will see you guys in my next one.